Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. So today I'm so excited to be able to announce my first giveaway here on my channel, which is a box of crafting supplies along with a $30 gift card. So I hope you guys enjoy this footage of me decluttering and organizing my crafting area which I originally recorded for my Instagram so I hope you guys enjoy and also go and participate on my giveaway on Instagram as well all the information is going to be in the description box below so good luck and I hope you guys enjoy both of these um great giveaways that I'm doing. Again, the giveaway for here on my channel is a $30 gift card along with a box of crafting goodies. And my Instagram is going to be a $25 gift card along with a box of goodies. So good luck to everyone participating. And I hope you guys enjoy this footage. Um, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And I've been wanting to tackle my crafting area because I don't have a room yet. Aiming for that for next year, so hopefully that will happen. But as of right now, I have a crafting area in my bedroom where I do all my DIYs, all the tutorials, but it's a huge, huge mess. And I wanted to tackle it, but again, I wanted some motivation. So I figured I would record myself um, in bits and pieces all throughout the day to kind of share with you what my steps are going to be and how I'm going to actually arrange and decorate this area and share with you my steps. So I'm going to turn my camera around and kind of show you the area that I'm going to start tackling right now um, and hope you guys enjoy and get some great ideas for your area as well. All right, so this is the area. As you can see, I have a huge mess everywhere. I have a lot of DIYs that I've been working on for Christmas. Um, you can see a few of them everywhere, the reefs. And I've been doing a lot of black uh, Christmas decor first. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to decorate and clean up this area. As you can see, I do have storage bins right here. Um, I got that at Ikea. And I just really stuffed them and don't have it organized at all. Um, just other Christmas decor and things that I'm using um, in the near future, hopefully, uh, for Christmas up there. So, yeah, I'm going to try to tackle this area again. Um, I got this table as well. Um, I got some Cricut items here. So I want to get an area for Cricut items only. An area up here, I'm thinking, of my future DIY so I can have it organized and have the supplies that I'm going to be using in the near future up there and then all everything else in these storage bins. Um, and then up here, I want to try to see if I can make some kind of wall hanging uh, thing or just somewhere where I can hang maybe some reefs up there, especially like for now. Um, I have a lot of Christmas reefs that I've already made. But again, since I'm not decorating for that time, I want to have them displayed somewhere uh, behind me. So I'm thinking of doing something back there. I do have uh, some extra scrap wood and things like that that I'm going to be um, using and hopefully making something for me to do that as well. And then this is a table that I do all my crafts on. And this is a table that I do all my Cricut crafts on. And as well, I normally take pictures on here because it's white and it's just a better uh, way to take pictures and as you can see I have a lot of different things down here um, so yeah I'm going to start tackling this area just make it more pretty and inviting for me to get inspired and motivated to do more crafting for everyone and um, kind of show my background more I try and tend to narrow put my camera down when I'm recording because I know I have a huge mess in the back and I just don't want anyone to see it but sometimes I do want to you know put the camera up and chit chat and talk with you guys so I want to make sure I have a pretty background so I'm going to try to do something back there so yeah wish me luck and throughout the day I'll be recording bits and pieces and letting you know my progress and what I'm doing next okay does it look any cleaner <laughs> So I'm trying to decorate, to finish up right here. Okay, I'm trying to finish up cleaning all the cubbies and filling them up with different um, items and crafts, but organizing them at the same time. But as you can see, it doesn't look like I've done much, but I have, believe me, I have. 
here's a few of the items that I've already taken out. Um, what I'm thinking of doing though is I'm thinking of getting a pile of items that I have quite a few of them and I'm going to do a giveaway. So stay tuned. I think I'm going to go ahead and just start putting all these together in a box, maybe take a picture of everything or just most of it and um, share with you a sneak peek of what the giveaway will be. Okay, so for my next project, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this board and I'm gonna put some Jenga blocks basically right here on the corners to form kind of like a frame on the back side. So when I hang this board up, I can put hooks on it and then I'm going to be able to hang my reefs. So I won't have to make that many holes on my wall. So let me go ahead and do this. Then I'm gonna paint it white and I'll show you how it looks on the wall. All right, so now it's time to start with this area. I already painted that board that I'm gonna put up here um, that I showed you guys. So now I'm just gonna start decorating down here, see if that dries before I give up for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to do something on this area. So we'll see what I get done today. If not, I'll finish it tomorrow. But my pile of um, things that I want to do the giveaway with is getting bigger and bigger. So as the details later on today, for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this area. Hey there, hope you guys are having a great day so far. So I finally finished my crafting area. It took me longer than what I expected. Um, but again, I'm finally done with it, at least for so, for now. I do have some other ideas that I want to do and change up, but for now, it's a lot cleaner and a lot more organized, so I'm, ha I'm happy with it. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to turn the camera around and share with you everything that I did um, and what I didn't do because there are some items, things that I didn't do after all. Um, and then I'm also going to share with you all the goodies that I'm going to put in the gift boxes that um, I'm going to do as a giveaway. I do plan on doing one giveaway here on Instagram and then another giveaway with some extra goodies um, for my YouTube channel. So if you're not following me on YouTube, make sure you do go and subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, that way you won't miss out on that giveaway too. Um, and so let's go ahead and start with the crafting space area. And then again, I'll show you all the goodies that I have planned on putting into the gift box giveaways. So um, let me go ahead and turn the camera around. But here it was completely full of things. So this is going to be my photo area and also my Cricut crafting space. Um, as you can see, I do have some uh, tiles that I want to make a DIY with my Cricut. So stay tuned for that tutorial. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Um, as you can see, I cleaned it all up. Um, I'm planning on getting some baskets that fit in here. That way I can put different supplies in there. Um, and I am planning on doing something here, um, kind of like an organized storage area, uh, some kind of DIY. That way I can put everything for my Cricut in that area. So, but for now, this is great. Uh, up here, um, what I did was basically use one of those waste baskets and put all of my glitter florals up there. Um, and then I put a vase with all the vase fillers from Walmart that I have. The, I'm sorry, from Dollar Tree that I have there extra. Um, I already had a nail up there, so I just put that reef up there for Christmas. Over here, that box is all of the Christmas decorations that I already have completed and made. Um, some of them I already posted. Some of them are going to go up pretty soon on my YouTube channel. So um, up there is just basically storage for all the upcoming holiday decor that I'm going to be using around my home. Um, and then here is all the storage. And actually, once I started getting everything um, cleaned up and tossing away things that I didn't need and things that I had way too much of, um, I actually have extra space in all these containers now, so it's great. I didn't have labels for some reason. I thought I did, but I don't. So I'm going to go um, figure out what kind of labels I want to place on here. I'm thinking of putting some wooden ones, um, like chalk paint type. That way I can write with a chalk paint pen and erase it and, you know, change it up the labels if I need to as time goes. But um, each one of these has a different category, you know, for instance, ribbons, florals, paint, paints, supplies. Um, I have holiday and seasonal supplies, picture frames, trays, pictures, and things like that. So I have it all organized here. Um, 
but um like i said i'm going to put some labels on there so but at least everything's in there and i basically know where everything's at so i'm i'm excited about that over there i have some more little containers and storage basically that's the stuff that i do i use on a daily basis or even my family would need on a daily basis like for instance i have you know gift wrapping paper tissue gift bags down there i have some scissors and extra glue supplies and um some beads and clothes pins and nails and things like that that are right there um and then you can see i have my other florals right there and another waste basket and those are the non-glitter florals <laughs> that i have back there um right here i have another shelf and what i did was use the dollar tree uh containers that i had and i just added um things that i usually use on a daily basis for my crafts for instance my ribbons glue uh pieces of wood little smaller wood tape paint brushes uh, ribbons and right here i have all my nautical ropes and you know jute twine and stuff like that so these are things that i typically use um every day or every time i make some kind of craft so i wanted to make it a lot easier where i could just slide that box out and have what i need so this is something that i'm going to use um daily you could say all my supplies and then here is my crafting table and as you could see some of you guys had asked me what these are this is just a hook that i used um, and i have rubber bands and all my extra uh, bags here that i use as trash bags when i'm doing my crafts um, if you do see some of my crafts you'll see that i kind of put my hand up to one side i'm not throwing um, the trash on the floor i'm actually putting it in that in a bag that i hang right here these are little hooks um, like desk or um, drawer storage um, containers organizing containers and i just screwed them onto my table and that's where i have my jute twine uh you know pa uh, popsicle sticks uh rulers scissors things that i use um while i'm crafting um i also put another hook right there and i have all my scissors hanging there and then that cup has like my um wire cutters pliers um screwdriver and things like that in there up here is a tray where I typically put what I'm using for that tutorial. Like, for instance, all my glue. Um, I have it right there. If I need a little sanding block, things like that, I have right there. Of course, my glue gun. And then here I have a tray. And that tray, I typically put what I'm using for that tutorial. And that bag is, um, I just have little things in there that I'm going to use or might use for that tutorial. On my divider, I put some um reef hooks on each one and um that's where i'm going to hang some of my larger reefs for now so up here what i did was i was going to put a pegboard right here and hang my reefs there but i didn't like the way it looked so i decided to go ahead and just put a nice picture up there and that's a diy that i did with painter sticks right there and I just added a hook to add a small reef. And then I just put some of my DIYs up here, you know, for fall. Um, and I'll just change that every season. This is some mirrors. And again, another tutorial um, DIY that I did with some mirrors. And I originally made that to put on my table with some larger candles. Um, but like every crafter, I think, or a lot of people, um, you get tired of having the same decorations in the same area. So I left the actual backing of those mirrors on them so I could hang it. So that's why I have it up there uh, hung that way as well. So, you know, that's something that you can do with all your, your um, crafts that you do make. Try to make them versatile for different um, areas in your home. Then these are just little reefs that I made. Um, so yeah, this is just the decoration. I'm not sure what I'm going to do up there. I'm thinking of maybe painting this wall. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what I do here. But for now, it's perfect. It is a lot cleaner and organized. Um, this area rug right here I made. Um, it was a Christmas skirt that I made for last year, but I decided to go ahead and use it as an area rug. So what I did was I had one extra rug of these um this design so i just cut a circle out of it and sewed it in the middle and um it turned into an area rug so if you want to know how i made that um again there's it's a christmas skirt that i made with that first uh but i am thinking of making a tutorial of how i actually made this area rug if i can find 
the correct amount of same color area rugs that I'll need to share with you how I did that. So um, hopefully I'll find some. I am looking for some green ones. That way I can use it for Christmas. Um, but yeah, so I made that as well. So this is the way it looks right now. It is a lot more organized and clean. So I'm excited and happy the way it turned out. Um, but again, if you guys have any ideas of what I should do on this wall, let me know. Um, because I am just kind of trying to figure out what I want to play, put up there or what I want to do to that wall before I actually commit and do anything to it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. Now I'm going to share with you all the different goodies that I have that I'm going to actually put in the gift boxes that I'm going to do, um, for the giveaway. So let me go ahead and share with you those items. All right. Here are all the crafting supplies that are going to be included in the giveaway for YouTube as well as Instagram, along with their gift cards. So all the information and instructions on how to participate will be in the description box below, along with a link for my Instagram channel. If you want to go follow me on Instagram and participate in that giveaway as well. The giveaway uh, winner will be announced on my channel for um, YouTube on Wednesday, October 28th. That will be next week. Um, when I do my normal tutorial, I will be announcing um, the winner for this giveaway. Um, so if you want, again, to participate, all the instructions will be in the description box below. Good luck to everyone.